Welcome everybody. In this talk, I'm gonna focus on the importance of agroforestry systems for the conservation of pollinators and pollination services. And I will tell you some examples of ecological and technological innovations that the Global Agroforestry Network has been developing in the past years in regions where we are working. First, I would like to share with you the region where we start our cocoa pollination research, which was in Central Sulawesi, Indonesia. This region is important because it's the main producer of cocoa in, in the country. When working here, we had the opportunity to talk with local authorities, with farmers and students, and became aware of the problematics when producing cocoa. Farmers are currently facing yield declines, which are associated to the low of resilience of the systems, since they are moving from agroforestry systems to monocultures to increase yields. We believe that a way to motivate farmers to keep agroforestry systems is by investigating them and finding ways to increase yields with ecological intensification practices, such as pollination services. The research in Indonesia started with three main questions. The first one was that we wanted to understand what is the role of forests and agroforests for the conservation of pollinators in general. To address the following question, we look at the habitats that are important for pollinators based on uh, scientific evidence. It is uh, known that the cocoa pollinators, they will reproduce in habitats that are dark um, and also have high uh, humidity. So we will assume that agroforests and forest areas, they could provide those habitats. So to test this hypothesis, we work uh, in 24 farms that we uh, characterize. At the landscape level, we look at the uh, complex habitats. This is understood as the percentage of forests and agroforests that is surrounding the cocoa farms. At the farm level, we look at the percentage of canopy cover, which is provided by the shade trees, and also at the amount of uh, leaf litter that is provided by the shade trees in combination with the cacao trees. And at the tree level, we account for the number of flowers that are produced by the trees that we were sampling. Coming to the results, what you can see here are the four variables that I previously uh, introduced to you. And we observe that the abundance of the main uh, cocoa pollinators that we collected, which are flies and uh, ants, they were positively correlated with the four variables. This tells us that indeed, um, for preserving the potential pollinators in the agroforestry systems, it's very important to preserve forests and agroforests as they are uh, providing the important requirements for the pollinators to reproduce. The second question that we address was if enhancing pollination will be an alternative for increasing yields in agroforestry systems. Here we develop two different experiments where we hand pollinate cocoa flowers in the trees. The first experiment, we hand pollinate flowers below two meters high at different rates from 0% that represent not pollination or natural pollination to 100% that represent the hand pollination of all flowers below two meters high. We also look at uh, three yield related variables, which are fruit set, harvested fruits and yield. And we found that yields increase for all yield related variables. For instance, fruit set increased by 700%, harvested fruits increased by 86%, and yields increased by 51%. Furthermore, in experiment two, we hand pollinate all flowers in a tree in order to understand what will be the, the complete uh, benefit of hand pollination in an enter tree. For this, we uh, select a different uh, uh, cocoa farms and different trees where we hand pollinate all flowers. And we compare hand pollinated trees with uh, non natural pollinated trees. And our results show that the yield increased by 160% in those trees that were hand pollinated. And not only that, but the farmers that they participate in this study, they saw a farmer income increase of 68%. And this was already after accounting for the labor used for hand pollination, as well for other uh, farm operational costs that are necessary for running the farm. After finding those results, we came to the last question, which is what is the way forward for pollination research after knowing that um, agroforestry systems are important in Indonesia as well as forests, and also that hand pollination could increase yields. 
The Global Cocoa Pollination Project has at the moment three different sub-projects. The first one is that we are developing AIE cameras to monitor pollinators in real time. This project is being uh, led by Kevin Darras from Wesley University. He, together with other colleagues, is developing machine learning uh, software um, that train the AIE algorithm to detect insects when they land on flowers. So you simply place a camera in front of flowers and once an insect is landing on the flower, the algorithm will detect them and will just shoot a picture of it. Here, here you can see uh, different uh, prototypes that we have developed. The most recent one is the one that you see at the bottom right. The first trials are already taking place right now in the Cabruca systems, in the agroforestry systems or Brazil, of Brazil. And later on, we are planning to deploy these cameras in other regions where we are working. Second, we want to reveal the identity of the pollinators by using metabarcoding techniques. In this project, which is led by a PhD student from Durham University, Alma Sanchez Quinones, she is developing a methodology to trace the DNA from insects that they are landing on cocoa flowers. Once she's extracting this DNA from this insect DNA from the flowers, she's amplifying it and is able to identify the insects at the species level. Once this methodology is being developed by her, we plan to deploy also those metabarcoding techniques in other areas where we are uh, collecting insects and flower samples. Finally, we are improving the hand pollination tools that we have developed in the past, and we are also training producers to use hand pollination techniques. Currently, we have two projects, one in Ghana and another one in Brazil. And we have seen that in both projects, the yields are increasing considerably. For instance, in the agroforestries of Ghana, yields are increasing by double. And in the Cabruca systems of, of uh, Brazil, yields are increasing even 10 times. This tells us that hand pollination is a potential technique that could, could increase yields in agroforestry systems. And here I would like to conclude my talk, not without missing the opportunity to invite you to participate and contribute with us in the Global Pollination Project. If you have any questions and ideas, please contact me in the following sources. Thank you very much.